Hello everyone, today we'll be going over Caesar Cipher, a cipher commonly found in Code Busters in the Division C and Division B level. All right, so Caesar Cipher. So Julius Caesar used this cipher by shifting the alphabet by three places. Now this generally refers to a type of substitution cipher in which each letter in the plain text is replaced by a letter some fixed number of positions down the alphabet. All right, so in this example, the alphabet is shifted by three, three spaces. So A is D, B is E, C is F, D is G, and so on, right? And when we get to W, W is Z. And for X, we revert back to the beginning of the alphabet. So that means X will be A, Y will be B, and Z will be C. So let's look at the plain text. I came, I saw, I conquered, right? So by using this uh, alphabetical shift, we'll look at to this plain text and we'll then look at the cipher text so i is l so which wherever an i is present in this plain text that will be replaced with an l S came so c is f a is d m is p and e is h right so that's that's where came comes into play so this is what the ciphertext would look like for such a quote. All right, now let's look at decoding Caesar cipher. So here we have a regular cipher that you might see in a tournament, and we'll be finding a way to decode this. So this is sort of uh, circled because we will be using this word to find out the, how much our alphabet is shifted, right? And it's good to take small words like this because you don't want to spend too much time trying to figure out what the alphabet is like with like five letter words. And I'll show you guys why in a second, right? So pick up a three or two letter word from the ciphertext. So we're taking this one and start moving to the next letters for the word until you get to a word which makes sense. All right. So look, we have QPG. Then let's just keep on going down the alphabet, down the alphabet for each one of these letters letters all right so we're gonna keep on going down keep on going down all right and this is how far down we go right and now we got to find out which one which words make sense right so you have bar right that one makes sense and then we have one this one also makes sense <laughs> funnily enough and now let's start filling in the mapping diagram using bar for QPG. So this will be bar, right? This is what our mapping table will look like. So C, B, C, D, F, keep on going. And then this comes back to L. So all the way through the alphabet. And then let's start decoding the ciphertext using the mapping table. So we're gonna put bar here. And then for this next word, it's gonna be R is C, G is R, T is E, U is F, Q is B, R is, no, P is A, my apologies, and U is F, right? So, Krefba, that doesn't really make sense. That doesn't seem like a word in the English language. Bar, Krefba doesn't seem like something in English language, right? So bar isn't correct, but we still have one to try, right? So let's focus on one. So let, let's fill in the uh, mapping table, right? And now let's put one into the here. So one persons, right? So R is P, G is E, T is R, U is S, Q is O, P is N and U is S. All right, now let's go to the next one and, and this next word. So success, right? So U is S, W is U, both E's is CC, G is E, and UU is SS. So it already seems like a phrase that makes sense. One person's success, all right? And now let's look at F, right? So F is D, Q is O, uh, G is E, U is S, right? 
and then P is N, and V is T. Okay. All right, now let's go to the next one, right? So V is T, C is A, M is K, G is E. All right, so that will make take. Then C, Y, C, A. So we know that C is A, right? Not exactly a good A. Del y is W. C is A, and A is Y. So that becomes O A, right? And then H, H makes that F, okay? So we got, uh-oh, uh wrong spot. F, T is R, Q is O, and O is M. So that gets from. And then let's look at A, Q, W, T, right? So A is Y, Q is O, W is U, and R is T, right? Doesn't take, one person's success doesn't take away from your we know that Q is O, oh, wrong spot. Y is W, and P is N. So we get it own. So one person's success doesn't take away from your own. So this is what a typical Caesar cipher looks like. It's fixed down the alphabet, a uh, fixed number of positions, right? And a certain number of spaces is, and it is fairly one of the easier ciphers in code busters. It's just 